The Knicks turnaround from eh in the 80s to legendary in the 90s was due to one move. When Dave Checkets became the Knicks GM, he set his sights on signing Pat Riley to be the team's head coach, but it would come at a steep price. Riley was working for NBC and wanted to not only be the highest paid coach in the league, but he wanted the Knicks to buy him a home in the New York City area. That's not cheap. Riley also wanted a book deal, a potential movie deal since the club was owned by Paramount at the time, and he demanded that the team issued polo shorts actually be made by Ralph Lauren, not that generic bullshit everyone else had on. On top of that, he wanted his laundry and dry cleaning expenses covered. That was going to be expensive. But his biggest request? He said he only would join the Knicks if Pat Ewing agreed to stay with the team. Though the Knicks declined to foot the laundry bill, they did get their man. And Ewing too. 